Good morning, everyone. Boker Tov. Uh, this morning, we are going to learn about why Solomon was anointed at the spring of Gihon, not in the temple. Uh, the king, new king, may be anointed uh, in the temple, but not in the temple. In the palace, but not in the palace. Why? New king, young Solomon, uh, was anointed at the spring site of Gihon. It is from 1st King 1, 33. Uh, as you know, Gihon is intermittent spring. Uh, intermittent means uh, gushing out water, gushing out water uh, on and off. For example, uh, in the rainy season, six times a day, the big amount of gushing out water is happen. The dry season, only twice, twice gushing out the water is happen. So, if there's no gushing out, if there's a little amount of water is flowing. So it is understood as an intermittent, on and off intermittent gushing out spring. The, the Gihon, the noun Gihon is from the root verb Giha. Giha means gush forth or break forth. Okay, it is compared to uh, N. Rogel, another world site, another spring site. Adonijah illegally, he, t he attempted to anoint himself without getting permission from Father King David. Yeah. So, I want you to see the photo. On the top, on the right side, there's an N. Rogel uh, spring water, N. Rogel. And then, uh, the left side, on the top, there's the entrance of the Gihon. Is you must go down very deep, very deep. It could be somewhat uncomfortable. You must do, uh, go down deep through the stairs. And then as you go down deep, then you can see uh, the gushing out the spring water very deep underground. Okay, uh, we must understand, we must try to understand why Solomon was anointed at the spring site of Gihon. Okay, many Bible scholars understood in this way. Number one, uh, spring water is useful for the purposes of washing sacrifices. For example, uh, burnt offerings, sacrificial animals must be washed. So washing is a necessary process. So uh, the anointing, when there is there is anointing, uh, they have the offering sacrifice, and then anointing is happen. And also the anointed one must be must prepare by washing, by washing his body, and then he must be anointed. So it is useful for the purpose of washing. And then, number two reason, uh, the spring water site is a common place, okay? The place is spacious for having a grand feast for many people. So whenever there is an anointing rite, anointing ceremony, the many people gather together and then special food, special food is also prepared for them. So. Uh, the, if there is a spring water, it, it's already a public place. So usually it is spacious. So uh, that place can accommodate um, many people. Okay, three. It is a place capable of displaying Solomon was anointed so that numerous company of David could follow him thither. So it is noticeable, easily noticeable. So 
a place capable of displaying Solomon, young Solomon was anointed. So it has announcing effect. So uh, this is the general understanding why Solomon was anointed at the spin site of Gihon. Okay, there could be a deeper meaning of Kihon spring, deeper meaning. So, we are going to research on the deeper meaning by ancient Hebrew. According to Hebrew, the language, uh, Gihon spring is called Me'ain Gihon, Me'ain. Me'ain means ever welling up, ever flowing up, uh, may I, is discharged, this spring water discharged itself into the brook of Kidron, Kidron, brook of Kidron, Kidron Valley. Okay, may I, may, in Hebrew, mem, consonant mem plus ein. Ein uh, means I, human eye. Uh, so human eye, second meaning is uh, spring water. So uh, on the human eye also, the tears are gushing out. And then the, always the little amount of the liquid is coming out. So that's, yeah, that's the concept. So is interchangeable. Human eye and the spring water interchangeable in this way. So mayain, so mayain is different from ein. So uh, ordinary, usually, all other spring water always named ein blah blah, ein blah blah, ein gedi, ein rogel. But uh, this Dion water only named mayain, added mem. At the prefix me, mem, me ein. So, function of mem, function of me is describing present participle of a verb. So, ein means fountain or spring. So, me ein means ever watering, ever flowing. Uh, that's the nuance. So, eb, uh, present participle effect. So, uh, we can attempt the new uh, reason of the Gihon. Number four, the ever gushing spring water. There's a May Ain. Gihon, Gihon, Ain Gihon uh, is called May Ain. So, ever gushing spring water. The river uh, was chosen to show the a perpetuity of their kingdom because it runs always. Okay, one more time. The ever gushing spring water, Me'ain, Gihon, and a river. So, spring water becomes the source of the river, Gihon Brook. And river, both of them were chosen to show perpetuity. So, perpetuity means being everlasting the perpetuity of their kingdom because it runs always. So the ruling of the David or the, in the David dynasty uh, should be running always until the day of Jesus Christ. Okay, this is the hidden uh, nuance, hidden revelation. Okay, number four, five reason, fifth reason. Spring water is the type of Jesus. Okay, uh, it's a surprising fact. Spring water is the type of Jesus. Ever flowing living water. Jesus is ever flowing living water. According to John 3 37 to 39, Jesus said, On the last and the greatest day of the Feast of Tabernacle, Jesus stood and said in a loud voice, let everyone who is thirsty come to me and drink. 
whoever believes in me, as scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow from within them. Rivers of living water. Rivers of living water. Okay, Jesus identified himself rivers of living water. As Jesus entered into our heart, then uh, we are going to experience the river of living water flowing up from my heart, from my bottom of my heart. So this is another secret. You see that this photo, you enter deep down, okay, and then you see the welling of spring water. So it could be symbolic to describe the welling of the spirit of Holy Spirit gushing out the, from the bottom of our heart. Okay, the King David also said, Make Solomon my son to ride on my own mule and bring him down to Gion Spring. Okay, so uh, there's another the revelation according to the ancient Hebrew, Gihon. Okay, so I'm going to explain the Gihon, the meaning of Gihon according to uh, ancient picture letter. According to dictionary, Hebrew dictionary, Gihon means break forth or gushing out, okay? Mm. But the, according to ancient Hebrew language, it has a little bit different meaning. Uh, for example, Gihon, there is a, there's a doubling of the, doubling of the uh, G, Gimel, doubling of Gimel. Gimmel, Gimmel. It's a strong sound. Uh, Gihon. So, uh, picture letter describes Gimmel means camel. Camel, camel. So, uh, picture of camels is so, uh, this is a folding or the very sharp. It describes uh, folding legs of the camel or the hump, hump uh, of the camel's back. Okay, so the meaning uh, a camel. So Gimel Gimel describes many camels. So this Gion spring water are related with many camels. You, you may imagine many camels are parking around uh, this uh, spring site. Okay, Gihon, Het, Het. Okay, this is a picture of the uh, temple, world house temple, or temple site. Het. Okay, the meaning of Gihon has something with temple. Okay, next one, Vav. Vav is the picture of tent pack. Tent pack. If it is a verb, Picture of a tent. Okay, so the you may imagine travelers, the, the camel riders means travelers. So many travelers. Uh, as they arrive in Gion Spring Water, they pitch a tent. Okay, you may stay there two days, three days, one whole week, take a rest. They okay, make your camels rest. Okay, you can get the additional the corns, additional foodstuffs, and then uh, you may continue your traveling. Okay, so next one, the final picture is a uh, fast moving, noon, fast moving. It means uh, your animals becomes alive, refreshed by drinking water. You also, travelers also, refreshed. This is the hidden meaning. So, Gihon, this is a feminine noun, Gihon, means many camels, okay, and then around the temple site, okay. So, this Gihon spring site is located below the Jerusalem temple. 
So this water was used for washing sacrificial animals in the temple. So this spring owned by temple, okay, closely related to temple worship. Okay, pitch of tent. So many travelers with cameras, they are parking their uh, pitch of tent there and then become refreshed. This is the hidden meaning of Gihon. So she, referring to Gihon, uh, spring water, she is a deep secret spring water. Okay, it's a deep secret spring water. So you must go down deep to get water, but she supplies abundant amount of water for many travelers, both human beings and camels or mules. So temple of God always is located at the spring site. Spring in Hebrew language, I or N, N, I, N, N. Okay, I'm going to picture it, just human eye. Okay, the temple site, temple of God always located near spring water according to the ancient near east culture the belief among the people of god is that god causes to spring up a fountain so people consider it holy so people consider fountain holy according to josephus okay so another thing gihon is the name of the second river in the Garden of Eden, Genesis 2, 13. Oh, so this, the name Gihon, okay? We may say borrowed from the Bible. So even though it is not looking majestic, you must go down deep into the ground, uh, but there's a uh, water gushing out, not much amount, but it is named Gihon. Uh, when God created God of Eden, and there's a uh, big amount of water gushing out from underground, and then it flow into four great rivers, reaching to hold the earth. And the second, second, the greatest river was called Gihon. So. Uh, when you understand the, the grace of God, a little amount, okay? When you experience the little scale of the blessing of God, but uh, if it is continued, you will be extended, you will be enlarged. Okay, so it is written in the book of Ezekiel, the secret of the living water, the works of the Holy Spirit. It started, uh, it's, it's issuing out, the little amount of water issuing out under the doorstep of the temple and it becomes uh, deeper, deeper and larger and larger, okay, until the little amount of water enlarged into the big river, okay, so uh, the people of God, a man of faith, they are expecting greater amount of the Goshen water greater amount of the abundant blessing of God from this small size of spring water. Okay, number two, a spring outside of Jerusalem. This is a spring outside of the Jerusalem city where the anointing of Solomon as king took place. Okay, just, just outside the temple wall, okay, it is located. But Solomon was anointed there. Okay, so we, we may imagine Solomon was young, okay? Young boy. But by the blessing of God, he became a greatest king in his era. Okay? Uh, look at the picture. This is the place of the Gion Spring, the starting point on the top, and then the King Iskaya, he made the water channel, 
hidden water channel underground and then the water is sent up to Siloam pool. Uh, there's a reason why King Hezekiah made this uh, hidden underground water channel because during the time of war the Jerusalem temple used to be surrounded by enemy soldiers and then uh, this hidden spring water must not be taken by enemy soldiers okay so that's why he made hidden the entrance of the Gion spring so that uh, secretly, Yon Spring may flow through underground and then reach to inside Siloam pool so that people may drink water. Okay, do you see uh, the final Siloam pool? And then uh, this water channel flowing under the old Davis city. So I might say King Hezekiah was a good king, good Melech in Hebrew, good Melech, good Melech. So meaning of Melech also, it is used to Mem, Melech, Mem means water, much water, Melech, much water, and then shepherd, Lamed shepherd, and then calf, holding. So King Hezekiah, uh, he tried to get much water. So this is another hidden meaning, Melech. So Melech means much water keeper, much water uh, take care, uh, take care of. He he took care of much water. So main mission of king is to keep well side. Yeah, in what sense do you understand? Main mission of king is to occupy many uh, well water, many spring waters. Okay, Melech means king, according to dictionary. Melech means king, but the meaning of king, according to ancient Hebrew, shows deeper meaning. The main mission of king is to control the water of a spring. Okay, so do you see, look at the picture, uh, the upper part, there's a ancient the reservoir by making dam uh, for getting water. In Yemen, Yemen, this ancient kingdom of the son of King Solomon, or the wife of Sheba, Sheba kingdom. So, they were also wise, they made a dam. In ancient times, if you, if, you, if you are the one who made dam <clears throat> to get much water, then you are a wise one. <clears throat> so in that way, if you are a king, then you must pray and you must uh, study, you must try to make the water, water reservoir. So for your people, then you are a good king. Okay, <clears throat> according to this picture, there, let's go back. Mem, Mem, Melech. Mem, Mem means much water. So Mem, okay, this water wave means water. <clears throat> so if it double Mem, Mem, mean, meaning much water. And the Lamed, okay, sh sh Lamed, that's a shape of the sh shepherd staff. <clears throat> staff means shepherd. Or if you are shepherd over people, then you're king. It has double meaning. Shepherd king and then calf calf is a palm it, it verbal meaning occupy hold on so if you combine all these three picture letter king is anointed at the spring side so that he may be reminded of his main mission <clears throat> main mission to occupy much water it is to be the caretaker of much living water for his people. Okay, king's main mission is to do Chisan Chisu, according to the Far Eastern country, Korea, China, Japan. Okay, this is the uh, maxim of the <clears throat> Far Eastern countries. Chisan Chisu, 
Chi means ruling. San means mountain. Chi Su means ruling water. So this is the main mission of king. King must take care of mountains well, not to be destroyed by water, not to be destroyed by uh, downfall of the water, downfall of the rain shower. So uh, you must take care of mountain well by planting many trees so that mountain must not suffer landslide during rainy season. This is the mission of uh, king. Okay? You must make water, you must make water channel, you must make water reservoir for farming, for irrigation, and for drinking water. This is the king's main mission. So occupying water, uh, it is uh, for survival for his people. This is the main mission, Chisan, Chisu. Okay, okay lower part, the so water tank today, every country, they make water tank. So during rainy season, they can much, get much water. And du during dry season, they can use for farming, by irrigation, or for drinking. This is the wisdom. This is a product of human wisdom given by God. Okay, we can imagine another meaning of Gihon. Gihon means, okay, now it's repeated. Many camels are around the temple site pitch of ten, become refreshed, okay? It reminds the blessing of the God of Eden. Okay, uh, this is a picture of RK oasis in Sahara Desert. Oh, inside the Sahara Desert, this kind of beautiful oasis is located. Uh, this is a wonder. This is a wonderful world. So many camels belong to uh, the caravan, they enjoy drinking, washing, taking a bath. Yeah. This is the concept of the Garden of Eden. Many animals, they can take a rest. According, you know, even human beings are refreshed because of this kind of river. So, I wish you imagine this kind of blessing in your life. I wish you imagine this kind of garden of Eden, blessing of garden of Eden. Beautiful. Okay. John 7, 38, 39. Jesus said, Whoever believes in me, rivers of living water, okay, rivers of living water will flow from within them. By this, Jesus meant the anointing of the Spirit whom those who believe in him were later to receive. Okay, so we must do this. The, the concept of living water is interchangeable with the concept of anointing of Holy Spirit. Okay, this is a picture of the Jordan River. Okay, the upper part, there's a water source of the mountain, Hermon. Gushing out water, falling down. So abundant outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Hmm? And then it becomes flowing. She said the Philippa passing through. And then third portal. Uh, this is a upper, upper Jordan River, beautiful and very water is very clean. And then uh, the final photo is right after Galilee Lake, right, right after Galilee Lake, uh, there is a, a baptismal site. Jesus was baptized there. Okay, when you travel Holy Land, so with your the church members, with your pastor, then they experience baptism again, get baptism again in the Jordan River as Jesus and his disciples were baptized. Imagine, may God bless you, and someday you may. Uh, visit Holy Land by the blessing of God, by the leading of the Holy Spirit. Okay, the final slide. In Christianity, the term water of life is used in the book of Revelation. 
the book of Revelation is about the restoration of the life, the Garden of Eden, 21, 22. As well as the Gospel of John, Gospel of John 4, 10, 26. In these references, the term water of life refers to Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Okay, water of life refers to Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Okay. Imagine we are living in this kind of blessing, abundant, outflowing of the works of the Holy Spirit, started from my heart by the works of the Holy Spirit. So I am in Jesus Christ. Okay, Let people who are afraid of Corona-19 notice that anointed Christians are the channels of this kind of life sharing water of Jesus now and forever. Okay, as you imagine, and this kind of the flowing of water, living water, because of Jesus. Okay, because of my ministry, because of my serving for others, they are also refreshed in this time of uh, pandemic, Corona 19. Okay, we must not be afraid of pandemic situation. We must trust in Jesus more, and then we are going to experience this kind of outpouring of the Holy Spirit, gushing out the grace of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. God loves you. Have a blessed day. Shalom, shalom. Heavenly peace be with you. Shalom, shalom. See you again. Later on. Later on. See you again.